In this video, we are going to discuss about Laplace transform and ROC of a exponential that is decaying exponential in left region. So, here you can see we need to find out the Laplace transform and ROC for minus e power minus c a t u of minus t. First of all, I want to draw the signal nature, how the signal will be. So, means they given e power minus c a t e power minus a t means that is a decaying exponential like this. So, now you are having into u of t, u of t means it is a u of minus t, they given u of minus t not u of t. So, u of minus t means that is a left sided unit step. So, if you multiplied these two then you are going to get only this part, this part of exponential 1 into this one you will get only decaying highest decaying part of this decaying exponential and remaining you will get 0. That means, if this is exponential signal decaying exponential signal this one is multiplied with this and here we are having 0, 0 into anything you are going to get 0. This is your resultant signal minus means you are going to get like this minus means so like this you are going to get this is nothing but so, minus e power minus e a t u of minus t. Minus is not in time, minus total signal minus means down part that means negative y axis. So, for this signal we need to define the Laplace transform as well as ROC. First of all to calculate Laplace transform I am considering fundamental equation of Laplace transform that is Laplace transform of x of t is equal into integral minus infinity to infinity x of t into e power minus e s t dt. Integral minus infinity to infinity x of t into e power minus s t dt. So, now here I want to consider my signal for which I want to calculate Laplace transform. Here I need to consider minus e power minus e a t u of minus t to calculate Laplace transform. So, now my signal is minus e power minus e a t u of t. So, in place of signal I am replacing this minus infinity to infinity minus e power minus e a t u of minus t remaining here in the equation itself we are having e power minus s t dt. Now, we know that u of minus t is a left sided signal it is having value from 0 to minus infinity from 0 to infinity the signal or unit step signal is equivalent to 0 u of minus t is equivalent to 0 from 0 to infinity it is equivalent to 1 from 0 to minus infinity. So, you can say from 0 to minus 1 for uh, that means from minus infinity to 0 only you are having u of minus t that is equivalent to 1. So, 1 into anything you will get a, that whatever value here you are having that you are going to get. So, minus e power minus I am taking common s plus a into t dt. So, here minus integral minus infinity to 0. So, e power minus s plus a into t dt. If you want to change this limits 0 to infinity you can take minus. So, minus of minus you will get plus that means, so if you want to write 0 to infinity that means you can take you can take reverse by taking minus already you are having minus so that will become plus. So, e power minus s plus a into t dt. So, here that is equal into e power minus s plus a into t divided by minus s plus a and the limits are 0 to infinity. So, now if you apply upper limit you are getting 0, 0 minus if you apply lower limit e power 0 that is equivalent to 1, 1 by minus s plus a minus minus gets cancelled. So, totally the Laplace transform of e power minus e a t u of minus t the Laplace transform of minus e power minus e a t u of minus t is 1 by, 1 by s plus a. Previously 
also for e power minus a t u of t also you got same transform 1 by s plus a for both e power minus a t u of t and minus e power minus a t u of minus t will get same Laplace transform in Laplace transforms that is very simple not unlike uh, Fourier transform in Laplace transform e power minus a t u of t and e power minus a t u of minus t having same transform when you saw exponential minus you can put s plus that value the only difference is at roc region of convergence so here the roc is roc for this signal is that can be defined by denominator always by equating denominator equivalent to 0 you will get poles so if you equated this equivalent to 0 then you are going to get s is equivalent to minus a so s is equivalent to minus a means sigma plus j omega is equivalent to minus a here real part is equivalent to minus a that's it so that's why real of s real of s is equivalent to minus a so in defining region of convergence we need to consider greater than or less than that can be decided by the signal itself so you can see the signal I draw the resultant signal I already drawn the resultant signal here you can see this is a left sided or right sided signal means this is purely left sided signal when a signal is left sided signal when you are considering ROC you need to consider ROC as real of s less than real part by this knowledge you got your real part whether you need to consider greater than or less than that can be decided by the signal itself given signal itself given signal is a left sided signal so definitely you need to consider roc as real of s less than whatever real part you got from transform that you need to consider if you want to draw this roc that will be like this so minus a less than less than means so this side previously in previous video itself we done this e power minus a t u of t for this also you got s plus a for this also when you are writing roc real of s real part of s is minus a but here as this signal is a right sided signal we consider greater than so the roc is minus a greater you can see the difference of roc is in between e power minus a t u of t and minus e power minus a t u of minus t so the transforms are equal but the roc is different sometimes they will ask like this what is the laplace transform of e power minus a t u of minus t without giving this minus that minus you can put here that means when they are asking with minus you just take 1 by s plus a as transform of that when they are asking e power minus a t u of minus t you just put that minus here minus 1 by s plus a that's it so this is about laplace transform of left sided exponential left sided decaying exponential